Hello everyone, let's learn about table in Microsoft Word. So let's get started by adding a table. So to add a table, wherever you would like to add a table, click it and go to the menu tab, click insert, go to the table section, click the drop down and here you can see a graph where you can hover. So whenever I move my cursor, it will just increase or decrease the row and columns. So let's go by the table 4 by 3. Then I will just hover on 4 by 3 graph and click it. Then here is the table that is appeared. So let's say if you like to delete any table that you feel something and you feel that the table is no more required. Then in that case, you can simply select by clicking here and just right click and go to delete table and click it. And here you go. This is how you delete the table. So let's go ahead and insert the table again. So I'll just go to the insert menu tab, go to the drop down. So I won't go by the hover on the graph, but I'll just go by the insert table. So I will just press insert table and here it will give me for the selection of column and rows. So let me go and make it four. You can just simply edit or you can increase and decrease as well. So let's make it four columns and four rows. So later the rest, everything I left by default. There you go. So those are the two ways to create the table. If you are working on a table and you realize that you wanted to add one row above the table, then how do you do that? So in that case, you just have to go wherever you would like to add on top of that. So let's say I would like to add one more row over here. So I clicked here and go to the layout section. As you can see here in the menu tab, click on layout and here you can go. So if you click insert above, then it will just add one more row on top. So similarly, let's say I'm on one, two, three, four, fourth row and I would like to add one more row below it. So in that case, I'll just select and I'll just go here and click insert below so that it will add the fifth row. Similarly, if I would like to add one more column on the side, so wherever I would like to add, like let's say I would like to add over here one more column, then I will just select it here and click insert on right. Since I would like to add on the right, so the third column is that. Similarly, let's say I would like to add one more column in front. Then in that case, I'll just click here anywhere and then just press insert left so that it will just add one more column on the left at the beginning. So this is how you can add on top, below, left or right. So let's learn how to merge cells. So if you'd like to merge multiple cells, you just have to simply go and select the cells. Let's say I would like to merge these two cells. So I'll just go, click it, click it here and drag it here so that it will just get selected two cells. So now since I would like to merge these two cells and it is selected, I will simply go and click on the layout menu tab if it's not clicked, but it's over here, it's clicked already. So since it's layout is clicked, I will just go to merge cell and click. So as you can see here, those two cells were merged. So let's say let's write strain as you can see here. So this two section can be for the strength. And let's say I would like to have these three cell as weakness and merge. So how do I do that? Similarly, I'll go here, click it and drag it so that you, the three cell will be selected and go ahead and click merge. And you can write weakness comes under this. It's not only for the row. You can similarly merge any cell type that you'd like to uh, have. You just have to go simply and select it and click merge and then it will this, those cell will be. Let's learn how to split the cell. So for that you simply go and click to the cell that you like to split and go ahead in the menu tab click layout and click split cells. So as soon as you click split cells there will be a pop-up window which will give you number of column and number of rows that you'd like to make. So since I would like to make it into two half, I will just leave it by default. And as you can see here, it gets split. You can also simply create a table within a table by the splitting. Let me show you how we can do that. So let's say I would like to split this cell. I'll click it, go and click the split cell. So let's say I would like to have five columns and five and click OK. So as you can see here, it forms like table within a table, right? So you can split as much as you want based on your need. Now let's learn how to split a table. So if you'd like to split a table, then in that case, you simply go and click where you'd like to split. Let's say I would like to make these two rows as a separate table and the rest four rows as a separate table. Then in that case, I'll simply go and click on the third row where I would like to split and go ahead and click layout and click split table. Here you go. The two rows are counted as a separate table and this one as a separate. So if I press enter, you can see that these are two tables that has been splitted from one. Hey guys, please feel free to comment down below on what you want to learn in the next video series. And please like, subscribe and keep loving your change. See you in the next